What is going on, YouTube people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here. Today for some Marvel Monday. But we're not going to be talking directly about a comic book, per se, or Marvel cards, but a comic book-related product. Um, I had been looking for something specifically to display uh, a couple comic books. Not exactly sure where yet, but I wanted something that was beyond just... Uh, the little plastic stands or like a wall mount or something like that. I wanted something that kind of accented the book and maybe enhanced it a little bit without taking away from it, if that makes sense. So I had run across uh, these a long time ago on Facebook and I forgot what they were called. Well, I tracked back down again and I reached out to the guy uh, a few months ago and said, hey, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Um. Ordered a couple, sent them over to me, and I wanted to do a video on them. So what I got was, and maybe you guys and girls are already familiar with this product, but it is called Slab Stands. Uh, I will, I'll pull up the IG page here in a second, but I wanted to start on the desk to kind of show it off a little bit. And then I don't have the best setup for showing this stuff off, so I'm going to show the stand. Uh, and then I have pictures of the actual books um, in the stands uh, that I'll show you guys. So what it is, is a nice hefty block of wood that he custom makes for whatever comic book that you want. So I had put in an order for uh, ASM 252, uh, X-Men 11, and Uncanny X-Men 133. So I'll show you pictures of those in a minute, but... Uh, then he paints them up to kind of match or accent the book and then puts uh, a logo across the front, kind of depending. I'll show you once again in the photos what the other two look like. They're actually upstairs on a sofa table displaying the books right now. So it's pretty slick. There's a groove there. The CGC case just sits right in there. And then there are um, like plastic shims slash wedges slash supports that slide in behind the book that keep it from flipping backwards. Uh, and it's pretty sturdy. I tried them in there. It has really nice rubber feet down at the bottom here that you could see. And they are very grippy. Uh, I put it on this mat. It'll slide a little bit, but like I put it on uh, a sofa table upstairs and it, you have to like really push on it to move. So they feel pretty sturdy. Uh, and there's this little logo stamped down at the bottom there. Uh, Pretty heavy. I mean, it's a two by four, or it looks like a two by four. A little less wide than a CGC case, just barely. Um, so you kind of have a general idea on the weight, but I'm very impressed with these. Uh, I like them quite a bit. And what I liked was um, he has them listed on his website or on his IG and on Facebook. And, you know, you could order what's off his, in air quotes, library or you could just let him know what book you want. And as long as you're willing to wait a little bit, he will come up with a design for it and basically do a custom for you. So I thought that was really cool too. And I, I noticed when going through his Instagram, um, he does other stuff too. It looks like he had stands for Funko Pops and some other cool stuff. Like I said, we'll flip over there and I'll link to all this stuff down below. Uh, it took about, um, I want to say six to eight weeks maybe. I'd have to look to see when I initially placed the order because they are custom made and he was a little backlogged. So he said, listen, you know, full disclosure, you place your order, uh, send payment over or whatever. And, but it, it's going to take, you know, this is the time frame that we're looking at. Are you okay with that? Just wanted to let you know. And I said, yeah, it's fine. I'm not in a hurry for these things. Perfectly fine. So, um, but yeah, really like these, uh, love the idea of the custom. And once again, I'll show you in the photos. I don't think it takes away from the book itself. It more accents it's almost like a reverse custom label because it's across the bottom instead of the top so um let's flip over and i will show you guys the pictures that i have um that i took with the books on display so let's transition over to that really quick okay so uh, i have individual pictures as well but here's the three that i chose once again uh we have the asm 252 uncanny x-men 133 and X-Men 11. Uh, I've talked about all these books multiple times on the channel. 
And the reason I picked these are these are the three that I would probably be least likely to ever move. Uh, like I, I've talked a bunch, you know, comic books. I'm not in them the flip. I'm in them in the collect. And these all make dis great display pieces for their own individual reasons. I've talked about this X-Men 11 cover a ton. Uh, I love the way that the red stand and the logo and the little Wolverine in the corner accents the book itself. Same thing over here. I like the way that he included uh, the Wolverine lashes out down at the bottom and the, I don't even know what you'd want to call that seafoam green that matches the background of the book itself, like up in the corner of the, uh, the book. And then, you know, the crates and stuff in the back there with a little Wolverine head and then, you know, color match uh, the uncanny X-Men logo. And then once again, same thing over here with the ASM 252, uh, the red to kind of match the red sky and then a little different angle, but on the guy swinging with the guy underneath his arms. I think that's from a comic panel uh, inside the actual book itself, but I uh, really like the way that these turned out. Uh, let me go ahead and flip through these real quick. I just have a different angle here so you can see them from the other side and you can see the books overhang just a little tiny bit. Uh, if you look down in the corner, like the X-Men 11, you can see the CGC case just goes out just a little bit beyond the stand, but it's barely noticeable. And you also cannot see, like I said, there is a plastic shim slash wedge that goes at the base behind the book. It's it's soft plastic, so it's not going to damage the CGC case or anything like that. Uh, but it helps support the book. And like I, I gave them a little push, and they didn't feel like they would tip over very easily. So, um, but there's just a little bit different angle than I have individual photos of them. So there's just a better look at the ASM 252. Uh, the X-Men 133, and the X-Men 11. I'm actually not sure which one I'm the biggest fan of. Uh, I really like them all. I think it would be the ASM 252 out of these three, but it's close. Um, I'd be curious for your thoughts. Is there one that you think accents the book better uh, than another one? So I'll, I'll circle through them again real quick. The X-Men number 11. God, I love that cover. So good. 133 or the 252. Curious to see which one you guys and girls think accents the book the best. And like I said, I don't think it takes away uh, from the books themselves uh, at all. You know, sometimes you get this stuff and you worry that it's actually going to take away from the cover. But I, I just, in my personal opinion, I don't feel like they do. Uh, these are about, like I said, prices vary. I think these ran about 20 to 25 bucks a piece. He has different styles, different cuts, different designs. Uh, and then it depends on if it's something custom or not. Uh, but I feel like they were a low twenties each uh, for these, which I thought was more than reasonable given the custom nature of them. So I uh, really like the way these turned out. I wouldn't want one for like every book in my collection. Cause I do feel like displaying them on the wall or in a case is probably the best way to go in a case. I think these would look okay. I think these look good out on, you know, like I have it like on a sofa table like that up against the wall there. Uh, I think something like that looks good. They might look pretty good in a case too. I'm probably going to end up putting them behind me somewhere in the basement down here. I'm just not sure where yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know that I want one for every entire book in my collection, but key books that I really like the cover of and really want to display. I like having this as an option, even if I rotated through and like didn't always use it and put it on a, clear stand or wall mounted it for a while or something. Um, I like having this in the arsenal of a bust out every once in a while. Uh, so here's his Instagram. I'll link to this in the description of the video and you can kind of scroll through here. Uh, he kind of shows off different things that he has. Here's the ones that he made for me. Uh, here's one that he actually recently just did for a uh, Funko pop. Here's a cool Wolverine one where he put claws going up the side for the Wolverine versus saber tooth. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, a couple for Nintendo Power. That's kind of cool. Uh, here's a nice one for uh, 129, a book that I would really like to own. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of cool ones here. Some cool Iron Fist ones. Fantastic Four. Some Avengers ones. Uh, that's his logo. I This one might actually be uh, my favorite one that I saw. I think this one looks great. The Secret Wars for Secret Wars number one. I don't know what it is about that one. I just really like it. I don't know if it's the blue with the like the color match at the top. I just really, really like this one. 
almost makes me want a Secret Wars number one. So uh, here's a giant size X Men number one. I like how he did it like across the top to make it look like the comic book page. So really cool stuff. Like I said, I'll link to his IG. Uh, that's I think that's the best way to probably order them. Uh, he has a Facebook page as well. But uh, yeah, turned out exactly what I wanted. Uh, I would definitely not hesitate to order again. Like I said, they do take a little bit of time. So if it's something that you're ordering like a gift or something, maybe allocate for that. But overall, very smooth transaction. I messaged him, told him what I wanted. He sent me an invoice, paid. Then about six or eight weeks later, off they came. And now they are on display on the shelf. So yeah, just want to do a little video on this because I think it's cool to see the interesting ways to display your graded comic books and, you know, has one for Nintendo Power down there. I would think if you wanted to, like if you had a maybe flip the script and wanted something for like a Sports Illustrated or something like that. I don't know that he would do that, but I, I'm sure that he would at least take a crack at it. But big fan of the product. Uh, so I wanted to do a video on it just to kind of show him off. Uh, and like I said, I will link to his IG. That's all I got for you guys and girls today. Uh, tomorrow, PSA submission reveal from Card Collector 2. That video was supposed to drop on Saturday, but I pushed it back because all the new stuff. So that'll be tomorrow's video. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys and girls. So like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.